massive amounts of mud swept along the 101 freeway. Uh, CBS 2's Cara Finstrom continues our live team coverage in Montecito. Cara. Yeah, Jeff, we are standing above the 101. That is it, just beneath us, covered by a muddy river of debris. You can see trash cans there. Cars that have been abandoned, uh, pieces of wood all in this uh, big debris field, a humbling testament to the power of this storm. Crews are out here now doing everything they can to clear it. Smash cars, now marked as checked for missing people, came to rest not far from the 101. The raging river of mud that came out of Montecito's hillsides Tuesday halted semis in their tracks and choked off the freeway. We drove our van as far as we could north on the mud covered 101. But just before we got to Olive Mill Road here, you can see we had to stop because the freeway becomes a swamp. You can see a car over there in the distance stuck, abandoned in the water. Never seen anything like it. Michael Fitzpatrick was home when the storm slammed Montecito. He's been unable to drive out since. I can walk, I can get out of here and get to work. So, uh, that's what I'm contemplating. We have no information coming to us other than family texting now and then. And cell service is iffy, so maybe we don't even get the text. Kat Wetzel is heartbroken for neighbors now grieving or looking for missing loved ones. At the same time, she can't help but feel cut off from the rest of the world. Now an army of dozers and huge military vehicles are working nonstop. They're scooping and shoving the mud and debris off the 101 as help waits to get into Montecito. Part of me wants to leave and just let everything get cleaned up, and part of me can't leave. I just feel I need to help somewhere. And we have flipped our camera around to show you the other side of the overpass and the amazing work being done out here. Caltrans has said that they hope to have the 101 through Montecito open by tomorrow night. That is still a huge task, but you can see they're doing everything they can to get this cleared. Jeff and Sharon, one other note of hope. We drove all the way up here today on the 101. Yesterday, we were reporting from a big mudslide that covered the 101 in Carpinteria. That was gone this morning. Incredible.